Welcome, Grandfather. Uh, they're from Kingston, New York. And uh, we're really excited to have him here and uh, have him play for you guys. Uh, we love this band, and we hope you do, too. Hell yeah. Let's get it. One, two, three, four. Look and see just like a dog.
That was really awesome. That's really good. We had a fun time playing with you guys at New Pulse. That was a lot you of fun. You guys were awesome. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I wish it was interesting because we had like the cars going by the street and we were on the other side and every time they went by, it was like... I know. That, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was funny though. So, I don't know, how did you come up with the name Grandfather? Uh, when I was like 20 in uh, undergrad at New Paltz, um, I don't know, people just said I, I like acted like an old man. Like everyone would be going out to parties <laughs> and I'd be like reading my book in my rocking chair and shit. <laughs> but then I thought it was like cool because like I wrote like very like abrasive, energetic music. That's yeah, kind yeah, of like yeah. a juxtaposition of... Like a hard, you know, the a hard rock the, grandpa. Kind yeah. Of. yeah. <laughs> but then, you know, I, we've played at like dad clubs and dads have liked us. So it's like, <laughs> I guess the irony is lost and <laughs> whatever. No, that's but I like us. It's cool. That's Here cool. Cool. When, uh, I'm going to let you change your guitar. I have a yeah, question no, for no. you about your pedal board. Um, so there's a lot of pedals on it, and they all look very cool. And I always ask the person with the biggest pedal board here what their favorite pedal is and uh, what led them into ha ne having and needing to get these kind of pedals so that other guitar players know, like, what they might need or if they want to be in a band that plays like you guys, things like that. Um, so uh, none of this really has to do with being able to play in, I guess, in this context of grandfather, I just kind of like collecting this shit. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, y y the only reason why I kind of have so much stuff is because I, I was used to playing in my bedroom all the time, and uh, I kind of just liked having, if I heard something in my head, I had all these tools in front of me to maybe recreate what I had heard um, to myself. And I don't know, I, it, it kind of comes with a, um, a you know, mixture of that and then also just liking to collect things and shit like that. Uh, my favorite one is probably um, this Analog Man mini chorus pedal. Just such a nice sounding chorus. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, you, 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 you could play, I, I, I don't mind playing straight into the amp, you could, whatever works for you, you know? It's yeah, just yeah. like, uh, it's just a thing. But yeah, I, most of this, if you saw my board before COVID, it was actually probably like half this size. It was mostly just uh, kind of just like, somewhat of a passion project over the course of the last year. My dad gave me this huge board a couple Christmases ago and I was like, I'm gonna just fill it out, what, why not, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, but that's, that's pretty much that. Story of the pedal board, that's yeah. awesome, yeah. You guys are actually the first band we've had on here since Connor. Honored. Honored. <laughs> it was definitely hell, all of that. But uh, the next question is, I see you're wearing a Bobby Lee shirt, you're wearing a Nirvana shirt. Uh, I'm interested in what bands influenced you specifically, because your bass licks are really cool, and occasionally you'll just be jamming in the back, and then all of a sudden you're slapping the bass, and I'm curious, like, what influenced you? I listen to a lot of, I guess when I started playing music, I was kind of on Guitar Hero, you know, like, DC, yeah, yeah. Led Zeppelin, or whatever. Got into, like, the psychedelic stuff, a lot of, like, Jimi Hendrix and Sly Stone, you know. Okay, I gotcha. Um, probably Sly Stone when I started picking up the bass, like just that groovy, like filling, like you know. I got you. That's cool. No, that's really, really cool. I like your bass too. What, what's the brand? It's Schechter. It's do nice. You, do you know Josh Govier? No. <laughs> He's a big New Pulse music dude. I got it from him. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. That's no, that's really nice. We actually got that that board back there that we're playing this through from um, if you you know Crossroads, yeah. you know Eli, yeah. and then. And Elijah, like, yeah, he hooked oh, us up with that board. that board. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and my, my last question goes to Mr. Drummer Man in the back. Uh, <laughs> um, so every time I see you, your snare drum sounds very, very good. And I was curious, like, what, uh, when you got it or, like, uh, where you got it from or if you have specific kind of kits you like playing on, things like that, or even this down to the sticks. Well, uh, when I started playing the drums, I was big into like Slayer, Metallica, like all the shit that would get someone, you know, hyped to play the drums. But, and I used to have like a giant metal kit, like 24 inch bass drum, crazy, like as many cymbals as I could get. But <laughs> then, um, you know, it's not practical touring. I started playing a little more like jazz chops, like slowed down, like more, you know, dynamic music. So I switched to like a little three piece uh, Gretsch kit. And then the snare drum, the one that came with the kit, uh, the guy sold it off separately, so he had a better one, and he's like, I'll give it to you for the same price. It's like, no label on it, nameless, like vintage maple <laughs> snare drum. No idea what it is, why it sounds so good, but I'm proud of her. <laughs> nice, that's what's up. That's yeah. really, really cool. 
Um, all right, so you guys have more songs for us. These are off a new record that's coming up, correct? Yes, it's, uh, it'll be our fifth album. It's, called, it's gonna be called uh, Grandpappies. Nice, um, nice. So these next two songs are like kind of uh, coming out of our last album, Magnum Grampus, which was like our thrash album with some like indie kind of chillers on there as well, but mostly kind of thrashy stuff. So these next two songs are kind of like still thrashy, but like kind of coming out of that. And then uh, the rest, I mean, throughout the album, there's gonna be like kind of like chill songs. And then, you know, it kind of goes back and forth, try to be more hopeful now that we're, you know, coming out of COVID and, you know, Magnum Grampus was like the dread of, co of COVID <laughs> and, you know, everything going on last year. And then yeah. now it's like, all right, let's try to be optimistic in some way, I don't know. But well, yeah, <laughs> the was first song is called Murder Hornets and it's pretty, yeah, not optimistic. <laughs> the word is not it's pessimistic. The next, it's the next great pandemic is Murder Hornets. So <laughs> you're just exactly. telling the future. Yeah. What was that? Oh, they came through? <laughs> <laughs> they came through, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, well. All right, let's, check. let's, let's do it. For sure.
Well, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. That's really tight. <laughs> that's really, way different than the first half, for sure. Yeah, yeah, we're getting, we're getting a little shreddy. A little that's shreddy. awesome. That's awesome. All right, get back, get, get back into it. <laughs> All right, yeah. So this is uh, our last song, and it's gonna be co- it's called uh, the MySpace Tom Continuum. Oh, this is the single, right? This is the that, single, yeah. That, that, that came out, right? That came out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that that we're not promoting. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all right, so this is your last song, real quick. What um, you have a show in Halloween, um, right? Some yeah, we have a show around Halloween. Right. We was on Long Island. Um, we're playing at Amityville Music Hall. Oh, nice. Oh, we played uh, there. That's a fun 24th. spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a fun spot. The, one of the better Long Island venues that doesn't just play like fucking Billy Joel. Kind yeah. Of bands. <laughs> so <laughs> we love them there. So make sure you come out, buy a ticket. You know. Yeah. That yeah. whole uh, support. Chestnut. You've been you've been uh, not having music for a year and a half, so definitely go out oh, yeah. <laughs> for sure. All right, well it was really nice having you guys. I'm excited to hear the new song, cool. and uh, thank you. Cool, thank you. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Thanks for grandfather.
Uh, check us out at grandfather.com as long as we're not promoting anything. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Thanks, guys.